Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So this morning I was just thinking one year or two years down the line what can be some of the exceptional high paying skills for a devops engineer. That is in 2025 or 2026 what can be some of the high paying skills that can make a devops engineer stand out from others in the market. So I spent good amount of time researching about this, going through a lot of articles, talking to myself. And finally, I came up with three things. I believe these three things can make a DevOps engineer stand out in the future. Number one on my list today is Go programming language or also known as Golang. There is a reason why I believe Golang will be a high paying skill. That is because if you look at the DevOps ecosystem today, tools in DevOps, applications in DevOps, most of them are written in Go programming language. It can be Docker, it can be Kubernetes, Istio, Prometheus, Argo. Most of them are written in Go programming language. In organizations, if you want to extend the capabilities of Kubernetes by writing custom controllers, Kubernetes operators, custom resources, again, Go is the preferred choice. Of course, you can do these things using Java or Python, but Go is preferred because of its concurrency, multi-threading advantage, or because of the less footprint of Go. It's a popular choice, and I feel going ahead, this adoption of Go in the DevOps space will only go high. Whenever there is a skill where the demand is high and supply is low, that skill will be a high paying skill. And that is something that I see in the DevOps space. The requirement of Go is going high and the number of DevOps engineers who know Go are less. So the demand is more, supply is less. So Go, according to me, will be a high paying skill in the future. Number two on my list is MLOps or AIOps or MLOps and AIOps. Again, the reason is quite simple. The increase in the AI workloads or MI workloads is going high drastically. A lot of startups are focusing on the AI and ML workloads. There are many startups around the AI space because of the increase in the generative AI interest. So when a lot of companies are looking to run the AI workloads or MI workloads on the target platforms like Kubernetes, again, the demand is high and supply is less. Because DevOps engineers with knowledge of running AI or MI workloads on Kubernetes are very, very less not only about running the workloads on the Kubernetes, it is also related to the operations, creating the infrastructure for these workloads, setting up the resources for these workloads, security of these workloads. So this is where AI ops or ML ops will be a new skill where less number of people will know this skill and more number of people will be looking out for DevOps engineer with skill and that will make AI ops and ML ops any skill that is high paying. Number three on my list today is basics of generative AI and prompt engineering. Understand this carefully. I just said basics of generative AI and prompt engineering, but not in-depth knowledge. The reason is simple. Sooner or later, every organization is going to adopt generative AI, LLMs, AI models, and pair programming. No stream in software development will be an exception. Every stream will use the generative AI and improve the efficiency. It can be developers, DevOps engineers, automation testers. Everyone will start using the LLMs and the AI models. And this is where as a DevOps engineer, if you know these things, it will be easy for you to get started. Imagine two years down the line, if you want to start learning the generative AI or 
start understanding how to use hugging face start understanding how to download the models from hugging face what are the different llm models why is rag very popular in the llm models today if you start learning these things at once two years down the line then you will see a mountain of things in front of you you cannot learn all of them at once it will be very difficult to learn everything at once so if you start learning things from now when people start recruiting devops engineers with these skills you will be the first ones amongst the other devops engineers and that will be an easy entry for you to get a high paying devops job so this suggestion is for everyone whether you are a developer devops engineer automation tester your organization might not be using the ai models today but every organization in the industry will start using them and if you have this knowledge you will have that entry pass of getting into a high paying devops development or automation testing anything it is similarly prompt engineering if you want to talk to the a models if you want to talk to the llm models then prompt engineering is the way it will not take a lot of time there are one hour courses that are available uh, that can easily help you understand how to use prompt engineering and even if you start doing it every day like if you increase your frequency of using the chat gpt uh, github copilot you will understand how to talk to these tools better and you know you can learn prompt engineering so prompt engineering is not that big skill it's very easy to get but having knowledge on generative ai i think everyone should start understanding what is happening in that space what is what why things are happening and that will give you an edge so this is things uh, that i feel can make a difference these skills can help you getting high paying jobs in the future so this was my research i hope you found it useful let me know in the comment section what you feel and see you all in the next video take care